looking back at the season, fans, how did you think it went? Um, obviously, it was disappointing the way it ended. Um, the start of the season, um, we were we was flying. Um, fair play to Cliffy, he came in. Um, came in. He hardly had we hardly had a squad. He put a, put a team together. Um, and we, we 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 really brought into what he was doing. Um, Cliffy, good, great manager. I've known Cliffy a long time. Um, implemented some stuff that he wanted to do. Um, and yeah, we was we was doing we was doing really well. I'd say with the with the players that we had, we we were overperforming, um, overachieving. Um, and then and then. As as the season goes on, um, we had that sticky spell where we were struggling a little bit. Um, we, we were just struggling for form. Um, Gandhi came in, um, and yeah, we, we were struggling to to win a game. Um, but as as all the changes stopped and we got settled, um, we, we were doing really well. We was flying, and we won. We won quite a few games. I can remember. I had a great game against Leek um, and Newcastle Town. Um, I think we won one other game. I think it was Market Drayton and, and then we lost one. But we, we was doing well and uh, I thought that we would have we'd definitely have been we have definitely finished in the definitely finished in the top eight. Now you've retired, uh, what what would you say was your main reasons for retiring? Mm-hmm. Basically last season um I sat down and I thought about it. Um Obviously, when when you get to my age, I'm 35 now. Um, you, your body told you one thing, um, and your legs told you another thing. And um, I sat down with Lee, told him that I wanted to get into coaching, and he was great. Um, learned a lot of him, and yeah, I'd, uh, obviously with my work commitments and my young family, I just thought, Do you know what, this is going to be my last season, so. A little bit disappointed the way that the season ended. Um, it didn't. It didn't go to plan how I thought it was going to go into plan. As in um, having the last game, getting all my family down there, and 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 I'm making a day of it. Um, but it is what it is. Yeah. What would you say was your favourite home and away game from this season? Um, my favourite home game, I think, um, league time. Um, they were flying league town. I think um, they came and 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 kind of thought that we'd seen our form and thought, do you know what, this is going to be an easy game. But fair play to Gandhi. Um, we worked really hard in training and and everything went to plan. Um, the away game, I'd say, I will league town again. Um, Early on in the season, I think we were, we were doing really, really well. Um, I know we, I think we drew or lost that game, but we played really, really well. I think everything that we, that Cliffy asked us to do, we, we did it. Um, uh, all Newcastle Town, the same thing again. I think when um, when Wayne came in, he brought an extra um, piece of it, a, an extra bit of energy into it and um, into the into the squad, and and um, yeah, we we did really well. Yeah, well, when I did this with Gandhi, he said uh, that you were probably one of the worst uh, dressed in, in the squad. Um, yeah. He was the worst dressed. <laughs> never, never. He's just he's obviously saying that for banter. Um, I'm good friends with. I've known I've I've known Gandhi a long time. Um, obviously, at my t- my time at Scunthorpe when I was a young boy, and um, I've I've yeah, we've been we've been friends for for a long time, and I just don't think he wanted to pick any of the current squad and um, upset him, but. He's definitely one of the worst dress. Um, looking back, just looking back at his gear from back when I've known him since I was 16, his gear's been terrible. Um, it's, it's got, ask him about his Fendi, uh, well, he says it's Fendi. I think he got it from Bulgaria, his tracksuit that he wears 24-7. So he's, him or Wells, he's definitely got the worst dress. Uh, who would you say he's got the best fan, though? Um... Uh, there was two people. Um, you, you got Fence, who Fence Fence is he, he's a funny guy, and um, you have to get to know him um, to know his banter. Um, but he's funny, and I'd say um, 
Wowsy as well. Wowsy, he's, he's just a nutter. Um, I played with Wowsy a few times and yeah, he's, he, he just gets everyone, he, do you know, he just puts everyone in a good spirit. Yeah, who would you say has got the best dance? In the best dance? Again, it could be, do you know what? It could, could be Wowsy. Wowsy is good. Got Tom, he's a, Tom Marshall, I know I've seen him. He's got a few moves, to be fair. Um, yeah, it could be. Is that, is that a Wolsey or Tom, I'd say? Yeah. Uh, what would you say is a memory uh, from when he was playing that would just stand out? Um, I've had a few. Um, one of them is definitely when, when we got promoted. I obviously, like not being big, I've won a few leagues now. Um, every time we've won the league, to be honest, I won it with Baseford a few times and and the Oxton, and they're just not many people can say that they won they won leagues and got trophies and the medals. So so yeah, um, either every time we've won the league, won it about three four times. Yeah. Uh, would you say you've got any superstitions that you uh, do before a game? Um. I haven't, you know, I've got none at all. Um, but yeah, not that uh, I haven't, I haven't. Uh, you mentioned briefly the title winning season. Uh, would you say that's one of the best memories in the Oakson show? Yeah, definitely. Um, 100%. Um, I, 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 well, I can remember when we won the league, Craig came in, uh, Craig Lamert came in and, and was very emotional and, and says that Reminded everyone that he's never seen anyone win the league. Um, or Oakland Town fans never seen anyone win the league, and the fans on the day were were amazing. Like before the game, we could hear him. <laughs> we could hear him from Loughborough Town Centre. They were so loud, and um, yeah, it was just a special day. Um, so definitely, yeah, hundred percent. It was it was that that day we won the league. Yeah. Uh, what would you say is one of the best grounds you played at? Um, best grounds. Obviously, the best ground I've played at is Old Trafford, but um, for non-league, I'd say um, we used to play. When we used to play FC United at um, Berry's Berry's ground. Um, they used to have a lot of fans, and it was always it was always special. It's always good when when you got a lot of when you got a lot of fans and support, and they're giving you banter. Um, yeah, so I'd say when 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 um, Berry, um, FC United when we played at Berry's ground. What would you say is one of the worst grounds you've played at? Um, Whiz Beach. 100% the worst ground I've ever... Well, if the, if the, that day was the worst. The, like, the game shouldn't have even been on. Um, the pitch was terrible. Um, there's hardly any fans there. I think we brought three times as much as their home support. Um, but yeah, it's got to be Whiz Beach. What would you say is one of the worst games you've played at? They were one of the worst games. Um, do you know what we had a we had a few last year. Um, I think yeah, we had a few last year. I'd say just trying to think back one one of the worst worst games. Um, I've had a few. I've had a few drubbings off some teams as well. I remember one time we played Fort North Town, and um, I think we we got beat like five six nil. Um, I think it was against FC United um, and yeah it's not nice when you lose as Phil said what did I say to Gandhi uh, when we um, <laughs> when when we scored from a corner after my two worst ever corners um, I just remember we, we, we trained really hard and we worked on set pieces and the first two corners I did normally like not being big headed, but normally I'm I'm quite on point with with set plays and stuff. And um, the the two of them was terrible. I think he even told someone not not to let me take it. And obviously, the third, I got third time lucky, and and um, Big Joe popped up and and scored from it. So uh, I just gave him some banner pack. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but uh, John Shields part of the media team. Um, yeah, through you from um, one of the games this season. What did you think of that? Yeah, it's it's amazing. Um, yeah, I've, I've just seen it. I come back from work and and 
seeing it pop up on my notifications and um yeah no it's it's, it's an amazing amazing photo and yeah he's, he's he's very good at what he does and um i'd like to thank him and i've saved the photo and passed it on to a few of my family members and and stuff like that and yeah i'd just like to thank him for that as well just one last thing i'd like to say actually is um um just thank you for all the Oaks and fans for for all the support um you've been amazing um i've got to know quite a few of you really well um and you'll see me down there next year cheering the boys on and um and yeah just like i said i didn't i didn't get chance to um to say my goodbyes properly um so i'd just like to thank everyone for for all the support even when i've had bad games good games they've always been supportive um literally they are the best non-league fans around and and yeah i just like to to thank them and and also i'd like to thank gandhi cliffy uh for everything that they've done um this year and previous managers when i've been at oxen as well so um you're a great club and um with the plans that um cliffy andrew and david doing um just just to get all make sure all the supporters get behind him because they really got up sometimes um they've, they've, they've literally they i'm getting my words out but they've um they, they really do want to be successful and um and and they're showing that by what they're doing off the pitch and stuff like that so um literally stick by him um there's gonna be up and downs but i know that um with the players that they've signed Literally, you'll be successful next year.